In this video obtained only by 13 News Now, you're not going to see anyone beaten. There are no bruises or broken bones as evidence of abuse. But lawyers argued and a judge agreed this interrogation was such a violation of the teen's rights, they had no choice but to throw out the evidence and drop the charges. This teen and his mother wanted you to see this video because they believe the community should know what sometimes happens in these situations. 14-year-old Gabriel is arrested on suspicion of breaking and entering and stealing guns from a home in Newport News. He's brought into this small room at the police department and left twisting in handcuffs for almost an hour and a half. I think it's very clear that this child's constitutional rights were violated. It's just the start of public defender David Lee's problems with this interrogation. Detective H.T. Troon comes in and reads Gabriel his Miranda rights. It takes less than 10 seconds. Now you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to speak with an attorney and have one present during questioning. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed for you. Newport News Police Department's own documents on Miranda rights for juveniles advise detectives evaluate the child's understanding, ask him to repeat them back to you. Troong says, well, you understand all that, right? The 14 year old briefly nods. Troong moves on. It might be one thing if this was a 41 year old long term drug dealer who's been in and out of prison multiple times. What you have is literally a middle school 14 year old. Troong pulls out photos of other kids he says he sent to juvie. He talks about the possible consequences of serving time. You know where he's currently at? In a grave. Lawyers tell us that could be a violation right there. By law, juvenile sentencing info is supposed to be private. What happens next is something Lee says he's never seen before. There are no such thing as co-ed prison. The women that they have in prison, the women, they were not women, Gabriel. Gabriel. You know what I'm talking about. He's speaking to a youngster who's 14, slender with long hair. I think this is a clear suggestion of prison rape. Trung literally backs Gabriel into a corner, so close their knees are interlocked. And after almost seven and a half hours in a room at the police department with just a few breaks, Gabriel writes an apology note to the victims. That is calculated to wear down, overcome any re resistance to where a child is likely to, under this kind of pressure, admit to anything. Lee believes there's no question this is a case of coercion. The justice system doesn't work well if the innocent people end up getting convicted, while the people who actually commit crimes go free. That's the danger. We get the wrong person, which means the right person is still out on the street and justice isn't served. And for Gabriel's charges in court, the prosecutor specifically said the interests of justice would not be served if this case were to move forward. We took the concerns directly to Newport News Police Chief Steve Drew. I can understand where he's coming from. I can understand some of the concerns that would be bringing this up um, in front of a jury, in front of a judge. Do you think this interview or interrogation cross the line? I think that's, I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a hard question. Do I feel like it, it crossed the line? I, I, I think, I think I would answer that. that I, I think there were some things that I would like to see tweaked and, and different and that I think we can always do better. Drew doesn't agree with every observation Gabriel's attorney made about the interrogation. He tells me he talked with Detective Trung and his supervisors about exactly what happened in that room. Do you think he should be interviewing juveniles? I'm not at a point where I feel like I have a, 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 a problem I have to remove it. Will there be any discipline for I don't, him? I don't, think, I don't think this is a discipline issue. I think this is a training issue and a bigger picture not Detective Trong, but our whole department. After watching the video, Drew believes some of that training should focus on making sure everyone understands their Miranda rights, no matter how long it takes. He also wants his people thinking about how a kid might perceive a detective's words or body language in an interview. I'm not just not looking for, we want a confession, right? Or that I want, I want the truth but I want to do that in an ethical and moral way. Drew plans to reach out to experts for their take on this situation and best practices. The chief also reached out to Gabriel's mom and is hoping to spend time with both of them after this. The totality is what can we do better and how can we improve? And I think when we're willing to ask those questions and look for those answers, that that's what makes us a better organization.
We sat down with the chief for about 35 minutes. Of course, not all of that fits into a story, so we put his entire interview on our website for you. We also emailed Detective Troon directly to see if he would talk to us about this video.